now I'm on the road with the scuffer down under. Welcome to this week's jam-packed episode of Discover Down Under. We've made our way to Dubbo and it is full to the brim of bikes, trikes and planes. Oh, Brookie hose me down because I'm channeling my inner rev head as I explore Dubbo with a very different point of view. Well, I'll be doing something a little bit more civilised with some not-so-civilised friends. <laughs> oh, well, I'm visiting a very top, top tourist park and running my eye over some very flighty royals. Well, Tim, we better get moving or we'll run out of time. All right, well, you take the Isuzu and I'll travel rhino style. Tim, get in the car. Sitting 300 kilometres west of Sydney, Dubbo is not your average country town. In fact, it's a city. And if you're travelling along the Newell Highway, you'll pass through Dubbo when you're on your way to, well, pretty much anywhere. Yes, Dubbo is, is the hub of Australia. 500 kilometres to the east of us is Sydney. Yep. 3,500 kilometres to the west of us is Perth. 900 kilometres to the south is Melbourne. And 2,000 kilometres directly to the north of us is Cairns. And that is by single roads. So pretty much, if you're travelling around Australia, odds on you've passed through Dubbo. You have to go through Dubbo. The best way to see it? Best way to see it is on trike adventures. Oh. Excitement on three wheels. Let's talk about the trusty steed for a minute. This is a 2010 model Oztrike, and as you can see, shiny red, that means it goes fast. <laughs> it sure does. It sure has lots of sparkle. I like to take people to see the city of Dubbo yep. around the, the historical buildings, yep. the parklands. Dubbo has one of the largest parkland complex of any city in Australia. It has over a thousand hectares of parkland. Beautiful. And of course, the beautiful riverscapes, which are, again, all around Dubbo. After a long day on the road, the Dubbo City Holiday Park is the perfect place for weary travellers to rest and recharge before the next leg of the journey. And while you might intend on making it a fleeting visit through town, park managers Nick and Naja will soon change your mind. Let's face it, you are on the crossroads of Australia. Mm. And I just thought, well, this would be like, uh, you just get people like spending a night well, and off they go. Yeah. It is. They're on the way to somewhere. They're stopping Dubbo. Because it's a town that's got plenty of resources, it's uh, mm -hmm. plenty of shops, mechanics, caravan repairs. So yes. you know, do that. Yeah. How many times would people go, oh, can we stay a little bit longer? About 90% of them stay extended. All the time, yeah. Because, yeah. of course, you're not just catering to caravans, are you? You've got so much more to offer. We have a lot of campers come in. Mm. Uh, there's a good camp kitchen down the back. Want some tomato sauce? How many cabins have you got? 32. 32, but we, we get a lot of people come in with their camper trailers, and if it's raining, I don't oh, we'll just take up. a cabin instead. Yeah, yeah, you bet. <laughs> And you've got great playground and pool area. Oh, yeah. Which is really cool. The heated pool. The heated pool. The jumpy pillow is a big hit with the kids. We've got Cassie in because we're very pet friendly here. Yep. yep. We are. We've even got pet friendly cabins that have got dog runs attached to them, so... We've got yep. three you can take the dogs into. That's amazing. What a wonderful thing to offer. Any pets? Yeah, cats. We, we actually had, had a crocodile, had crocodile at one in stage in the back of a truck. Mm, yeah. No. Yes. Man, oh man. We had a bearded dragon. Yeah, but we don't talk about her. <laughs> <laughs> Tim, that is nothing. Check this out. It's a wedge-tailed eagle staying right here at the top tourist park. His name's Zorro. Ah, oh, Brookie. Always a competition with you. Just making friends, Tim. Like these guys, travelling Taswegians, Linda, Alan and Little Billy. You guys are a long way from home. You're from Tasmania. Yes, Launceston. <laughs> We're on our way up to Queensland. Uh, this is our second trip up there. We've, I've just retired and we like to go north for the winter. Well, most grey nomads do, but you guys don't look too grey or old. I got uh, to use my seniors card for the oh, first time today to get into the zoo. Oh, there you go. What do you think of the top tourist park? I love it. Yeah. yeah. No, it's great. It's great. Everything it? we want in the park. 